are now entering Reeseville. It is the village of Reeseville. It is still in Dodge County. Uh, the population is 763. It was named after an early settler, Samuel Reese, by his son Adam Reese, who surveyed and platted the area. Samuel Reese settled here in 1845. It has actually uh, gone up from 708 people in 2010 to 763 in the 2020 census. Now, there is something very interesting about Reeseville. There was a 2003 film named Reeseville. That starred, oh boy, I can't, oh boy, I'll, I'll try to, uh, Manjandra Defino? <laughs> Sorry if I'm butchering the names. Brad Hunt, Angela Featherstone, Mark Hamill, and Cotter Smith was based and filmed here. So I don't know if I'll be able to find anything pertaining the filming of Reeseville here, but this is the downtown area. I find it fascinating that these little towns somehow get spotted by Hollywood, maybe somebody who grew up here or in the area, had something to do with the writing of the film, not sure. And as you're exiting town, you have your obligatory cemetery on the right. This must have been an old schoolhouse. No longer a schoolhouse. If anybody has seen the movie Reeseville, who was watching this episode, if you'd like to comment below your thoughts on it. I had never heard of it. And another thing, if you enjoy my videos, do me a huge favor, like them. That lets me know You care and that you enjoy my content so we're gonna do a second pass here through downtown Dan uh, Reeseville Danville I just saw the road that said Danville so that made me think of Danville that's a neat house right there that must have been the old firehouse maybe at one time Not a lot going on here in Reeseville though there's a Mike's mini market which is no longer yeah, not, not a lot going on here in Reeseville at all. But I thought I'd show you that beauty, those relics right there. It's a shame, these small towns, how they've just kind of gone by the wayside. They've probably had their heyday. Now they're just barely hanging on. Yeah, not a lot going on here in Reeseville. All right, on to the next town. Well, lo and behold, wow, wow, <laughs> the staircase is seen from the outside, look at that place, wow, how long has it been since somebody has resided there, holy cow. Well, you know, I, it looks like there was an antenna on the roof at one point, so 50s, 60s maybe? I don't know. 
Wow. Yeah, definitely not going to go in that one. <laughs> Little bit structurally unsound. We are in Amish country. in the city of Beaver Dam. I have been here before and I have filmed an episode here of some things that were in downtown. But I didn't really tell you much about the city so I will tell you more about the city now. Beaver Dam was first settled by Thomas Mackey and Joseph Gotius in 1841. And by 1843 had a population of almost 100. The population right now is 16,708. The city was named for an old beaver dam located in a stream flowing into Beaver Dam River. The community was incorporated as a city on March 18th, 1856. That same year, the Milwaukee Railroad reached the area, encouraging further growth. Beaver Dam hosted a World War II prisoner of war camp called Camp Beaver Dam in the summer of 1944. The camp held 300 German prisoners in a tent city encampment where the Wayland Academy Fieldhouse now stands. That's interesting. Let's see what kind of notable people we have here. Oh, geez. Senators, <laughs> legislators. Oh, geez, please. Senators. Yeah, it's, it's all just. Is there anybody other than a senator? Not really. Well, there's Dick Pavlich, who was the L. GBTQ activist and campaign manager of Harvey Milk. Well, there are some professional sports figures. Uh, Eric Baldwin, who was a professional poker player. Paul Cloyd, professional basketball player. Ric Flair, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Ric Flair, the wrestler. <laughs> uh, Pink Holly, Major League Baseball player. Wow, there's a lot of people. Fred McMurray for My Three Sons. The actor. As well as Brian Donnelly. He's an actor as well from here. Bobby Hatfield. Singer best known as one of the Righteous Brothers singing duo. As well as Nancy Zeman, television sewing host, author, and businesswoman. Now, this Nancy rings a bell because I've seen her show on public television back in the day. And one of the, the characteristics of, of her was... I know, she, she may have had a stroke at some point or something because I remember distinctly she had like a um, little bit of a paral paralyzed uh, facial expressions. So I, I, I'm not sure 100%, but we'll look that up as we go along. So Beaver Dam, you know, there's, there's other people that I've missed. But Beaver Dam has had a pretty big, uh, pretty good... Uh, section of notable people from here considering it's only 16,000 people it's not too shabby 